The level of erosion that landholders will start to see may feel overpowering. What can I do? I want to save my property. What can I start to, to do? We're going to give some ideas on how using materials that might be close at hand and be able to cre create a couple of structures. The key to erosion control is to maintain the ground cover that you have and wherever you can, if you can increase that ground cover, that would be fantastic. And to then also slow the water, the velocity of the water down so it takes that scouring energy out of the water. And by placing an obstruction in the, the creek, you're gonna capture some of that sediment that you're trying to control. So one of the methods you can use is just some wire netting curled up in a roll, stapled together with some brush inside it. It's got a low point in the middle just to uh, make sure that water comes over the centre and not around the edges and um, making sure it's seated in so water doesn't get underneath. Some of the materials that are available at hand can be simple things like uh, logs and logs in the paddock, uh, fencing wire that may have resulted from the burnt fence and also simple uh, bits of debris that have floated into the creek such as leaf and twigs, bark, uh, material like that. That's the sort of stuff that's close at hand. There may even be rock that you could use. You could also use hay bales, uh, other sort of fencing materials or logs. So in a situation like this, we have water coming out of the catchment and it's coming through that grassed area up there and it's coming to a, a gully head just here. Probably the best thing at this point is to try and divert that water. One of the options here could be a simple log to divert that water until such time as perhaps a rock flume can be afforded to put in to control that gully head there. So there's a lot of uh, refencing going on after fires and it can be an opportunity to think about is the fence you're putting back going into the right place or can it be better positioned to give you better grazing management and better access to your farm. One of the issues that you're probably going to find when you put these structures in is you're going to have to monitor what you put in because there's going to come a point where that structure you put in may get overpowered by a, a rain event. So monitor the, the effectiveness. If you need to put in another structure above or below, no problem, do it. And look, when catchments get large and there's large amounts of runoff, coming over farms, that's really when you need to think about getting uh, good advice um, and design work if you're going to intervene in those cases.